Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time. It is time to hit up a swap meet. Are you guys ready? It's time to head on over there to the local swap meet and see what kind of cool goodies I can find today. I haven't been there in about two months or so, so I'm gonna be going on over there with my mom. Today is Mother's Day, so I might have her pick out whatever she sees there that she likes. You know what I mean? For like a little Mother's Day gift or something. So uh, we're gonna be heading on over and let's see what we find today. All right, guys, I arrived to Bob's buying bag over here, the swap meet, right over here with my mom for Mother's Day. <laughs> so uh, how are you doing today? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. You, you, we've been in here for like a minute or two. Have you seen anything cool? Oh, uh, yeah. I like those candied, you know, what do you call them? The little Pineapple things. Yeah. Those are good. So I, I, since it's Mother's Day, yes. and we're going to be walking around here today, mm. to let me know if you find anything cool that you like, and uh, I'll get it for you. Hey. Thanks. Don't, don't go. Don't buy anything that's like a thousand dollars or <laughs> yeah, anything know. like that. But if oh, you see, <laughs> if you see anything cool, like don't buy a car if someone's oh, yeah. like trying to sell a car. Because uh, yeah. But if you see anything cool, let me know, okay. and I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Because right now I'm going movie hunting. All right. Sounds good. All right. Don't get lost. No, I won't. Okay. Cool. Hey, mom. Uh -huh. We came across the first movie table here. Yeah. There's just like stacks and rows and rows of stuff. They have the TV show Soap. Do you remember watching that at all on television? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you like shows like this, or? Uh, yeah, it's okay. It's probably, you know, probably a little dated. Now. Yeah, I think like Billy Crystal started off in the show or something, right? Oh yeah. Something well, like that. I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah. First time I saw him, I think. Yeah, but we're gonna be looking around here, looking at some of these DVDs. All right, guys. My mom went off on her own right now. Now I'm wandering the swap meet, trying to find some movie goodness, baby. I'll meet up with her at the certain part of the swap meet in a, in a little while. But uh, let's see what I come up with today. Hopefully I find something cool. You know what guys, over the last couple of months since I've been losing all this weight and stuff, I've been thinking about like trying to maybe find a bike so I can like ride around town in, you know what I mean? Like, you know, just to do some different kind of exercises and just like, you know, you know, get out a little bit more and just, you know, do some fun stuff maybe with a GoPro or something. But I don't know, maybe sometime down the road because I don't have a shit ton of cash to go off and buy a bike, but I want to get a bike sooner or later. Man, damn, this booth has got it going on. Like, everyone in the swap meet seems to be in here, like, digging through boxes and trying to find certain things. It's just really, really kind of crazy how, like, almost everyone is in that one little booth right there. I don't even know what's really worth the shit in there, or at least, you know, in my opinion. It's just, like, little knick-knacky things, but I don't know. Some booths have a lot of people, some booths have none. But, uh, I don't know, man. Speaking about that bike, though, I really want to get one, you know what I mean? Just... I don't know, because I remember a long time ago when I first tried to get on one when I was like 450 pounds or more, it was just like, it wasn't happening. You know what I mean? It was just like, oh my god, looky, looky what I found, guys. The Blu-ray station, baby. You know, I'm going to have to go in there right now to see what they got going. It says, no copies or bootlegs, baby. It's the real deal. That's go on in. All right, guys, I'm in the Blu-ray DVD heaven booth over here at the Swap Meet Bob's Buying Bag. Just looking through some of the goodness that they have here. They have this, like, Star Wars Empire Strikes Back here on Blu-ray by itself, which I think is just probably from the, you know, the, the, the pack that, that came out. But they also have, like, all those new releases I've talked about in the past. And uh, there's something else actually cool about this booth that a lot of you guys probably... Uh, don't know, but I've, I've shown this booth before how they have so many blu-rays This is like one of those booths that you know, you don't usually see at, at swap meets these days You know what I mean? You see like one or two movies just lying around on people's tables and things But the really cool thing is about this booth right over here is the person that works here You guys might may have not have seen this guy in a while, but here he is Nick swap meet searcher Nick, where the hell have you been, man? You caught me. It's been uh, like two years. Where the hell have you been? Um, in a hole. In a hole? In a hole with all my movies. Man, everyone for the last couple of years <laughs> have been like, dude, where the hell is Swap Meet Searcher? Like, every, and pretty much every single video I make, there's one or two comments. Where is Swap Meet Searcher? He's over here. With um, among all these Blu-rays and DVDs and things. Where did you think I was gonna be? I mean, yeah, right at a swap meet selling DVDs. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty it, cool. it is, man. So, but I am coming back to YouTube. Yeah, you so are, man. Check out the link below to his channel down have. there. Yeah, so I have a new channel. I'm gonna be doing updates. Uh, I'm gonna be getting all these movies from here now, like yeah. releases and stuff. So look out for that. It's gonna be pretty cool, and, man. Uh, so is there anything around here in this uh, booth here you'd like to show us? Like anything that stands out to you? 
since we haven't Let's, seen you in a while, we want to okay, like, catch up so with you. What's cool is like, when can you go to a swap meet and find? Hold on. Yeah. Hey, here, let's go under the special stuff. Oh, was it the porn? Like, <laughs> not the porn. Oh, okay. I'll show you that off camera. Oh. Um, where I know it's shout factory stuff. We have. Oh, they have shout. Is there like slip covers yes, and everything? We do somewhere. Oh Kidding. shit. Well, I mean, there's just so yeah. many freaking movies here. Like, dude, I know. It's just like you have like season sets of like I Love Lucy yeah, and I mean, I like where, where do you see like this kind of stuff at a swap meet? You know what, what I mean? mean? Like, where are you gonna find like the Blues Brothers with the slip cover? Yeah. Like Interstellar. Oh, hey, swap meet. Get Interstellar Steelbook. Nice man. Like, it was. So, so, are you still collecting movies and stuff like that, yes, or you're you not as yes, hardcore? I, more than I used to actually. Yeah. I just had. I just became really secluded. Yeah. And I became really emo, and I was cutting my son. <laughs> you might not have, man. <laughs> no, I do, and I've really missed being on YouTube and like showing off my collection and no. hanging out with you. Yeah, man, we do and miss you, man, because like. Yeah. You were like a big part of like my channel here for like 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 a year or two or whatever. I know, and it would kill me like you'd have, you'd be in videos with other people. I'd be like, I'm supposed to be in that crew. Yeah, I'm supposed to be. You, there. You're you are part of the wet movie crew, man. You're part of the original oh, wet movie okay. crew. Well, I see. I disappeared. I was gonna understand if you like kicked me out or something, but you know, what? I'll get on my knees and I'll beg. No, no, don't, don't, get... don't get on your knees, man. Okay. That's Gabe's job. All right, guys. These are the Scream Factory ones that they have at this booth over here. I'm, I, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking of which ones to pick up today. It really depends what the what the deals are. You know, when when your boss comes back. Because this one right here, I, yeah, I don't have this on blue. Yeah. And this, I heard pretty good things. Kind of like Deliverance in a way, I think. That one is really. It has like that. You know, that's what I heard from like Dead Pit and other guys. Ooh, well, you're not getting it. I'm getting it. <laughs> so, like, dude, what the <laughs> how have you been doing though? Up and down. I try to go away to college and become smarter. Yeah. It turns out I'm just not fit for that. I'm not fit for that kind of stuff either, bro. Like it's it's hard. Yeah. Like, I tried, but I'm I, I all I care about right now is movies. Movies. Honestly. And, yeah. So, but you you've been okay, like. Yeah. You know, like like other people. Some people I know they'll be like, he must he might he might have disappeared and might might have became a woman or like you know had a thing chopped off and became you know what I'm saying like the stupid things I've been hearing. How did you guess? You guys. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like the stupidest shit I see in comments once in a while. Yeah, I know. I see it too. Like I would watch the I would watch the Q and A videos, and I would I would laugh to myself, and I, I almost a few times wanted to pop in there. Yeah. But I don't know. I've kind of I've wanted to come back to YouTube for like a year. Yeah, and man. I've just kind of like stepped away. I know. I know like, what you mean. I'm gonna wait, and then yeah, I'm back. So me and you were talking earlier, like on on online or whatever. Yeah. And you were talking about like maybe doing hoarding up. In like yes. this week or something, or yeah, so no, like really soon, a couple days or something. Like yeah. That. So you're down for that? I'm down. Yes. Yeah, man. Are you guys down? Thumbs up this video and let it, let us know down below if you're down for a new swap meet wet movie video. And where should we go? I don't know. You, uh, maybe the same old places, but you said that you said there's some other places that w where we live out yeah, here. Yeah, we can go to like pawn shops. We can go to like some weird thrift stores and stuff like that. Yeah, man. So stay tuned for that, man. Swap meets yeah, back, yeah, baby. Yeah, I'm back. All right, there, swap meet. I'm about to keep heading on in this uh, thing and see if I find anything All cool. Right, man. It's always cool seeing you, it man. Was awesome seeing you. Hopefully, we hang out this yeah, Tuesday. We're gonna do, uh, yeah, we're going to do this Tuesday? You want to do it? You this down? Tuesday? All right, I'm down. Okay, but it has to be sometime after five because I have a doctor's okay. appointment. All right, sounds good. All right, Make man. Sure. Make sure you guys check out Swap Meet's new YouTube channel down check below. Same name, same good old place down below. Nice seeing you, Swap Meet. Thank you. It's nice seeing you too, sir. You look freaking good. Thanks, bro. Seriously. It's always cool seeing you, man. <laughs> the original Wet Movie crew here, man. Him and Gabriel. Oh, yeah. Man, guys, how fucking cool was that? Swap Meet Searcher's back. I would have never thought in a million years that I would have ever saw him again. You know what I mean? He's one of those guys that was really, you know, prominent on my channel in videos for like a year or two and then disappeared. But now he's back, baby. Make sure you guys check out the link down below to his YouTube channel, his new one, The Swap Meet Searcher. Hopefully we do some new stuff, man. This coming Tuesday, new hoarding up, man. So I'm going to keep walking around the swap meet and see if I find anything else cool over here. All right, guys, came across another cool movie booth over here. Uh, I always like coming to these swap meets near my area, man. They always have the cool ones and new ones and everything. Really cool stuff. But hopefully I find something cool. All right, guys, I just came from that little movie stand that was over there. They had a couple of new releases I wanted to see, like that black or white one and uh, some, some, something else. But like they're charging pretty much the same price Best Buy charges for. All right, everyone, came across one last uh, DVD booth over here. It's just like rows and rows of uh, dollar DVDs here. I'm going to be looking around through here, see if I find anything interesting. As you can see, $1 DVDs. 
But uh, who knows, man? They have a couple of other things over here on this table, like some random Blu-rays and things. Like they even have the Eat, Pray, Love Blu-ray, which I know is DeadPit.com's uh, top-rated movie of all time, right there. I know Wes Vance, uh, you know, recommends that to all his listeners. Well, guys, nothing at that booth. A lot of just really super generic things and mixed in with weird bootleg stuff and. You know, like stuff I've seen millions of times before that I already have or don't really even want, you know, kind of thing. So, oh, here's another one, another booth as I'm walking. Oh, now that's cool. Maybe Fluffy would like this, this little Batman handheld thing. So I think he just got a Jurassic Park one. But, uh, yeah, some season sets of things I already have. Uh, yeah, that, that's what it seems like, you know, nowadays when I come to swap meets. A lot of stuff I already have. You know what I mean? When you have thousands and thousands of movies, you pretty much have pretty much almost everything you want. You know what I mean? Like you don't really find really anything out of the ordinary these days anymore. But I do try though. All right, still wandering around the swap meet. It's kind of more full than usual, but look who I came across. She was walking around aimlessly, just not knowing where she was at or what she was doing. But uh, did you find anything that you would like to get for Mother's Day? Hopefully it's not too windy. Do you know where you're at right now, miss? <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, so you're gonna show me what you want, want me to get you? What is this? Like a shawl or something? No, it's a, just a scarf. A scarf? Yeah. All right. You want you want something like that? You're, I thought you were talking to me about like a tie dye shirt yeah, or something. I think I'm past it. That's all right. That's all right. Are you on your medication today? <laughs> I just want to make sure because it doesn't look like you know where you're at, or where you're going, or what you're doing. Hey, mom. Did you pack your diapers? <laughs> All right, guys, we left the swap meet now. We're over here at Subway, about to, you know, get a little lunch here. So what did you get, Mommy? He's got a regular six inch? Yes, but uh, I've been wondering for months now yeah. if you could just get salami and Swiss, and apparently you can. Yeah, so you got a salami and Swiss sandwich, and I got my Black Forest ham and turkey. Yeah, yeah but right now, guys, we're going to be eating our food, and in just a moment, my mom will show you what she picked up at the swap meet. All right, everyone, we just got out of Subway, ate our little six-inch uh, subs or whatever, but now it's time for my mom to show you what, uh, what she picked up over at the swap meet. So what did you get? What's in your little black bag? Okay, I got this because it's another stand I always go to, and I always wanted this one because I always saw it flying in the breeze. And it's sorry. That's okay. <laughs> it's a scarf. It's kind of big. Scarf. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna tie it on my ponytail, but I got a funny feeling it's gonna it, be something else. Yeah. But I just like it, see, because of the butterflies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. She was gonna get she was gonna get some tie dye shirts, but she she couldn't just she couldn't make up her mind. But guys, I'm gonna go on home and I'm ha I have some DVDs and Blu-rays I want to talk to you guys about. Some that I couldn't fit in my last Blu-ray DVD update video because it would have made it an hour long. So let's go on home and show you those DVDs. All right, guys, I'm back home now to show you some movies that uh, I watched over the last couple days that I couldn't fit in the last update. I couldn't really find anything super cool at the swap meet today. They had, like, you know, a couple of decent things there, but not, not the price I would have liked them to be at. Maybe next time I'll find something cool. But here's some of the movies I want to talk to you guys about. The first one up from Lionsgate is called Cymbeline here on uh, Blu-ray. Uh, this is like a modern retelling of, a, of an old Shakespeare play. And, uh... This one stars John Leguizamo, Ethan Hawke, Mila Jovovich. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is the very first movie in many, many months that I couldn't get through. I shut it off. You know what I mean? I, I, I couldn't stand it. Everyone in this movie was speaking in Shakespearean talk like, Thou, thou, thou finger, thou bowed. Like, you know, like speaking in, you know, in, in Shakespearean the whole time. And I couldn't understand what I was watching, what was going on. It was filmed nicely, but I just didn't understand a damn thing that was really going on in it. So I don't really see people running out there you know, and, and buying this one. And if the people go out there and blind buy it, they're going to be sort of, kind of pissed off because they're not speaking English. They're, you know, they're speaking Shakespearean or whatever. But, like, I just really couldn't get into it, guys. I shut it off. G great cast of people, but I, I, I just couldn't stand it. But that's Cymbeline here on Blu-ray. And uh, next up over here from ARK Entertainment is a movie I wanted to see because I like Sarah Highland, and it's called See You in Valhalla uh, here on uh, DVD. Um, it's just like a, like a family drama kind of flick. It's about uh, Sarah Highland's character at the beginning of this movie. She finds out her one of, you know her brother passed away, so 
she decides to, you know, go visit her family for the, you know, meet up their family for the funeral. But the thing is, she hasn't seen her family in many years. And her family, or, or her other family members, and her, you know what I mean? They haven't really visited each other for a very long time. And some of them, you know, have their own issues, and it's just, you know, like family issue stuff. And them just trying to come to terms with the, the death of their brother, and stuff like that, because he died from, like, an overdose of drugs, or whatever it was. And it's just like, you know, like a light little family drama. It was okay. It's nothing to write home about. I thought the acting was decent the writing was fine it was just i don't know something about it it, it it could have been executed just a little bit better in my opinion but i do like sarah Holland, man i believe she was in she's in like modern family or something but i, I could be wrong but that's see you in valhalla here on dvd and uh, next up over here from anchor bay is a documentary i actually watched last night and it's called champs here on dvd uh this is a documentary about you know championship boxers and you know in their lives and stuff like they follow uh mike tyson uh, uh, what's his name again? Uh, uh, Vander Holyfield, and they talk to them, you know, about their lives growing up in the projects and not really having a lot of money, and how they came from nothing and became something, and how sometimes when you're boxers, you can, you know, if you don't uh, have like a good person handling your money, you can get screwed over. Like Mike Tyson, I believe, got in debt and he owed all this money, and he kind of had to start over from scratch again. It's like one of those kind of documentaries, you know, following around, you know, a couple of like, you know, boxers talking about, you know, their career and things like that and uh, they have like Ron Howard, uh, Denzel Washington, 50 Cent, like all these different celebrities. It was just decent. Like I'm not a big super boxing fan but I just I just had to check it out for the hell of it because I wanted to see if they talked about, you know, the Evander Holyfield and Tyson biting his ear off and they did in this documentary. But that's Champs here on uh, DVD. And next up over here is a film I really, really loved. You know what I mean? Like I, I wasn't really expecting much from it and I really did like it very much. And that is called Murder of a Cat here on DVD. Uh, this is a movie that's produced by Sam Raimi and uh, it's pretty much about this one uh, this man child guy named Clinton he lives in the basement of his mother's house he's like you know he's like you know like 30 40 years old he's not he doesn't really do much except for play video games and you know this kind of, same kind of stuff I do but uh, you know he's like he's like sort of like a man child in a way and so you know one day his favorite cat in the world gets murdered out front of his house you know like with a like a bow and arrow kind of thing right through the cat and he's just like really heartbroken about it. He, he, he can't stop thinking about it. And then he goes on, and then it's pretty much him going on this mission to, around the town trying to find out who killed his cat. You know what I mean? Like him just calling, going to the police and them not really doing anything. It's like, dude, it's a cat. But like, who did it? You know, like that kind of thing. It's him just trying to find out who killed this damn cat. But yet he's just like really kind of crazy and things. Um, I really found this movie to be really super entertaining, man. You get J.K. Simmons in there. And uh, you also get Ted Raimi in here for like a quick cameo at the end. But I really did enjoy this one. It's a real quirky, dark kind of comedy. I, I, I really dug it. I'm surprised it's not on Blu-ray, man. It, it was actually really well executed, in my opinion. But that's Murder of a Cat here. And our next up over here from Time Life is a show I... I don't think I've ever heard of, but I wanted to get it just because of the actor that's in it, the star. And that is called CPO Sharky here on, uh, on DVD, the complete first season. Uh, this is a show that aired on NBC or something like the NBC CBS back in the day and uh, for like for, for two seasons. But it stars Don Rickles. You know, you guys know as Mr. Potato Head from Toy Story. He was also in like Dirty Work. He's like a really famous comedian. I have a couple of his, uh, you know, DVD specials in my, in my collection here. And in this uh, show, he plays is a you know a, a, an officer in the, like, the military or navy or whatever it is at, at this little navy base as you know like new new recruits are coming in being trained how to you know you know be in the navy and it's just him there trying to you know teach these guys how to do their thing it's kind of a, a funny quirky kind of thing um i can kind of see why it only lasted two seasons it's not amazing it, like, you know don rickles could go a little dirtier you know what i mean this is like in his like you know middle of his career kind of days i liked him I, I like his humor, but it's just, it, it didn't impress me as much as I thought it was going to. I, I always liked Don Rickles, so I had to check this one out. CPO Sharky. All right, guys, and next up over here from Olive Films is the, the End of Violence here on Blu-ray starring Gabriel Byrne and uh, Bill Pullman here. This is the film I used to see on video store shelves back in the day. I might have rented it, you know, when I was younger on VHS, but I just can't remember. And I, I watched it a couple days ago. It's pretty much about Bill Pullman's character. He's like a, a p big producer in Hollywood. He's like, uh, he's really known for like producing the big action violent kind of flicks in Hollywood. And uh, Gabriel Byrne is like, working for NASA in this like weird computer, you know, 
you know, program place that can like spy on people. And uh, in this movie, Bill Pullman gets kidnapped uh, by these two assailants with guns, and they're going to be they want to kill him. And uh, until something happens, and Bill Pullman gets away, and those two guys, those two assailants, end up dead. And police are police are trying to investigate what happened, and they think Bill Pullman might have killed these might have killed these guys. And and Bill Pullman's like in the, in hiding, trying to hide away from the police and stuff like that because he's scared about what what happened and things. That's pretty much the synopsis of the movie. It's not as cool as I thought it was going to be. The per per performances are fine the movie looks looks beautiful on blu-ray but I, I i couldn't get into it as much as i thought i was going to but uh like i don't know man but bill Pullman's always been cool ever since i you know the movie casper and stuff back in the day but that's the end of volunteer on blu-ray and last up over here from wild eye releasing is this documentary i've never seen before and i'm just like i'll, I'll give it a chance you know what i mean i'm, I don't, I'm not usually in this stuff like this at all whatsoever and that is a the special anniversary edition of snuff here on a dvd this is a documentary about snuff films and if snuff if real snuff films really exist in america and if you guys don't know what snuff films are sn I, well, I have never seen one in my life to be honest but like snuff films are like when people you know film other people murdering somebody killing somebody on camera you know what i mean and then selling it on the black market for for profit and uh, they, they just have a couple of like people in here like movie producers movie uh you know editors and things like that uh, you know, talking about what they think is a snuff film and if snuff films really exist. Um, I found this movie to be okay, you know what I mean? Like, they talk about, like, Faces of Death and, like, how that was, like, a, sort of a kind of, like, a snuff film. They talk about, like, uh, Cannibal Holocaust and, you know, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and, like, all these different kind of horror movies of the time. And, like, I'm like, wait a minute. How is, how is Texas Chainsaw Massacre considered a snuff film to some of these people? Like, to some people. Like, I mean, we all know they're actors, you know what I mean? Some of these people went to conventions and signed stuff. You know what I mean? Like, even Gunnar Hansen has been in some, one of my videos back in the day on, on old, an old interview I did. It's just, it's just, it was just really kind of strange that there were, you know, what, what the, some of the sub subject matter they were talking about. And I just really hope there's really no such thing as a snuff, snuff films out there, like real ones. But that's snuff here, or documentary. That's all I have to talk to you guys about today. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys like my videos. Also, make sure you guys uh, check out Swap Meat Searcher's new YouTube page, link down below. And I'll see you guys all in the next hoarding up video. Hopefully Swap Meat's with me, baby. See you next time.